At the top tonight on 3 News at 6, hospitalizations in Texas are surging. As of today, more than 6,800 COVID-19 patients are in Texas hospitals. Nueces County Judge Barbara Canales reported last night that every staffed hospital bed in the area, including Corpus Christi, Kingsville, Beeville, Victoria, and San Antonio, is full and hospitals cannot accept new patients at this time. It is our top story tonight, where we have an updated look at current hospitalization rates in the Coastal Bend. Tonight, Nueces County is reporting 187 patients in the hospital battling the coronavirus. Of those, 39 patients are in intensive care. Now, since the coronavirus pandemic started back in March, over 8,000 people have been sent to the hospital with COVID-19. As we mentioned, the state of Texas tonight reporting more than 6,800 COVID-19 patients in Texas hospitals. That number up by more than 250 people in just the last 24 hours. And locally, hospital capacity is limited by the amount of health care staff we have on hand. Meantime, city and county officials say they are working alongside hospitals to determine a plan to prevent our health care system from becoming overwhelmed. 3 News' Lexus Green spoke with some of those officials and has the latest. It, it is, it's alarming. The numbers are alarming. We can't, we can't, um, side rail that at all. Corpus Christi Mayor Paulette Guajardo says our local hospital systems are working towards opening up additional areas that will accommodate for more people, but they still need the manpower. Trying to bring in teams, as you know, nursing's an issue, doctors are an issue. Those are all challenges right now. The Coastal Bend Regional Advisory Council coordinates with area hospitals for emergency response. Hillary Watts, CEO of CBRAC, says currently there is no shortage of durable medical equipment, but our hospitals are less staffed than they were pre-COVID. I think we demonstrated, and I use the collective we when we talk about um, our hospitals, the ability uh, to create beds um, to treat our community. They did that. They did that very well last last summer when we were in the height of COVID. Um, the only outside resource they needed to be able to uh, use those beds that they created was staffing. And that's exactly, uh, we're back in that situation again. Watt says she doesn't anticipate hospitals having to turn away patients at this time. It remains to be seen how this go round will go with the Delta variant and the cross-section of our of our communities that are choosing not to be vaccinated and just you know live life as normal what says the next step to address this issue is to hire more nurses using resources such as fema or funds from the american rescue plan but it's up to city and county officials to make that call they are actively pursuing solutions right now um, and we are also actively looking at how we can help them. So I can tell you we are there. There's definitely going to be some assistance um, on, on the city side to, to help relieve some of the uh, incoming patients that are kind of overloading the hospitals right now. Lexis Green, 3 News.